y'all welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia in today's video i guess i can start off with a life update so where have i been same old same old doing the same thing living life to the best of my ability i have been focusing on my mental and physical health i've been making sure that i get outside the house hanging out with my family and my friends you know exploring the city uh definitely trying out new restaurants because you know your girl loves to eat and definitely trying out new desserts because your girl loves desserts and you know again just living life um enjoying the smaller moments the i guess i can kind of like break it down uh what i've been doing for this past year so january i went to a car show in dc and it was pretty cool i had a lot of fun february i went to dc's tattoo expo um that was very exciting got to meet some dope artists see some cool works in march i turned i turned 28 and i'm still trying to wrap my head around that and in april i saw tina fey and amy poehler which was absolutely amazing and you know god is keeping me I am taking it one day at a time and I'm just trying to figure out my pace. So today's video um, is one from my archives. I haven't posted anything about this trip. I haven't done anything with this footage. It's just been sitting in my hard drive and I don't know why I didn't post it, but I'm posting it now. So yeah. So last March. Last March? Yes, last March I went to Atlanta so yeah last March I went out to Atlanta for a gig I basically worked with this director who was shooting a music video out there and he asked me to come along to be essentially a production assistant and I was like uh yeah um I was so excited to be a part of this I since college have been wanting to work with a group of creatives that I can you know grow with, learn from, and then hopefully produce my own projects one day. And I've had a lot of setbacks with that. So this was like, thank you, Lord, it's finally happening. And to be able to travel to do it, I was like, yeah, we in there. This is this is about to be on and popping. I was super precise about it. And I was just, again, just so ready to do it and be a part of it. So I did the whole shebang, flew out there, uh, got a hotel room, rental car, all of that because I was just ready to I was ready to be a part of this project. Yeah, it was very, very exciting. This is my first project with Ben, who is the director, and I was just like, let's go. assistant director we all hung out the night before Atlanta was really cool it was really hard for us to find stuff because it was like super late but we ended up finding a nice little restaurant I didn't record any of that stuff because I wanted this video to be specifically about this project when I was filming everything but um, yeah I didn't film too much of that but the footage that I do have starts with me being on my way to set and them starting to set up everything so roll the tapes Okay. No worries. Yo, the house was absolutely beautiful i haven't been in a lot of mansions i don't i don't even know if i've been in a mansion before outside of this one but i'm always on zillow so i'm always looking at mansions but i've never physically been in one so i was just like 
it was just adding to the thrill of it all because I'm like, I made it, baby, I'm here. I was just so, so like, just, I, I was just, it was just a very blissful feeling. And again, I was just really happy to be there. So once we were there, um, there was a crew that was unloading some equipment. Um, they, I don't remember their specific title and I apologize for that, um, but they were basically there blocking the lights. You got a knife or a key on you, perhaps? Thank Yeah, so sometimes like, you know, sometimes certain things in the budget you can like yeah. play with something, you know, like yeah. you know, when you know you wanna have a certain look mm -hmm. and shit, sometimes you gotta sacrifice a few things to you know, sometimes you might find gems in the spot, like right? yeah. Sorry to the dude in the all black on the left. I do not know his name at all. I'm really bad with names, especially with one one time interactions. So I apologize, but he was very nice. I saw her. Yeah. I get a still shot of you real quick. Of me? Uh-huh. There we go. <laughs> yeah. A picture? That's what you want your still shot to be? Okay, okay. Uh, Cree, uh, again, he's the assistant director on this project, and Ben is the director on this project. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, so right with the dual seat and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to do the bathroom or? No, no, no. We want to do. So at this point, things are getting set up, more of the crew is coming on site. Um, everything is falling into place and coming together. So it's a lot of sitting around and waiting, but I was so excited. Only one thing was missing and that was the artists. We were receiving updates throughout the day. Even the night before we were receiving updates about his status and where he was. But I'm not gonna lie y'all, they were like literally experiencing unfortunate event after unfortunate event. Like things just kept going wrong. I think their car was breaking down, like it broke down twice or something like that. It was just really, really crazy. Um, but again, we were just sitting there waiting for the talent. Around this time it was like probably like four, three, four, which was getting kind of late because we already had a schedule. We was already behind schedule. 
Um, so it was just like, okay, where is he? I'm sitting there waiting and then Ben comes in and he's like, yeah, y'all, that's a dub, that's a dub. And I'm looking around like, what is a dub? What does that mean? And another guy was like, oh, it's a rap. Basically, it's a rap on the shoot. Like we're not shooting the music video today because unfortunately the artist could not make it, y'all. And to be honest, I just, in that moment, I felt really bad for Ben. You could just see the disappointment on his face. And he's a type of creative where he puts his heart, his soul, his blood, his sweat, his tears, his time, his money, all into his projects. And I mean, although this was a very small production, it was still pretty big for a small production. I mean, he had a crew, he had the equipment, he had everything was to, you know, ready to go. And so just to see that it wasn't gonna happen, I really felt bad for him in that moment. And I even heard other crew members saying like, oh no, this happens all the time. Um, even on bigger sets where everything would be set up, everything would be locked in, ready to go. And then the talent is a no-show. And so everything is like basically, all right, you know, can't do it today. And I'm just like, what? Like I was just really, really shocked to hear that. But y'all, if I could be 100% honest, I wasn't angry. I wasn't upset. I wasn't blown. I mean, I was sad, of course, for Ben and also sad that I wasn't going to ex get the full experience. But I was just like, I was still happy. I was still so grateful to be there um, and to be a part of it and just to see this, you know, everything that I saw up into that point. And, you know, I kind of compared it to my, you know, nine to five, what I have to do every day. And one minor inconvenience, one bad email, it would destroy my whole week. But this, which was a major inconvenience, I, I was okay, I was cool, I was, I was chilling, you know, I was just like, all right, you know, it is what it is. That said a lot to me, you know, that spoke to me and that showed me that this is what I really enjoy doing. And I'm not trying to get all mushy and all that stuff, but it's certain experiences that I've, I've gone through or, or I've been through and I'm just like, all right, like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Or is this, do I really like this? Because I feel like sometimes specifically for me, I can fall in love with the aesthetic of things or the look of things. Um, and not really want to do the nitty gritty or do the work or whatever or go through the the lows But that kind of showed me like okay I, I think that I'm actually interested in this and this is what I want to do and I want to continue To to go in this direction. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like a, a very interesting experience for me so with this video and again not to get all mushy and all that stuff but i just really want to encourage you all and myself actually to keep working towards what fulfills you you know and if you keep working towards what fulfills you it's going to be worth it even when things don't go as planned a part of you is going to feel like okay what's next you know you're going to be it's easier said than done of course but it makes you feel good when you sleep at night. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. It makes you sleep with the uh, 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 lightness in your heart where it's just like, yeah, this is this was a good day. Even though it was went bad and didn't go the way we wanted to, it was a good day. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Again, you guys, always thank you for watching. If you're watching, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Bye. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Hopefully I like that because if I don't, I'm gonna be pissed. This is the 10th time I've shot this video. It's like, nah.